demise of the Pasig River is the cost of industrialization and poverty. For the past two decades, efforts have been made to rehabilitate it. Were they successful? To see for ourselves, we decided to take a trip from Guadalupe to Intramuros. As we sailed into the river, we noticed the green color of the water and the pollution and garbage spread across the area. However, they were not insignificant amounts and the odor was barely noticeable. However, as we approached Santa Ana, we noticed the signs of pollution and garbage. Despite this, the garbage should not be seen as the hindrance to the progression and rehabilitation of the Pasig River. After interviewing, it was time to set sail again. Concluded our trip at Intramuros. Throughout the journey, we asked frequent travelers and employees the same question. Here's what they answered. I think yes, depending on the government, plus the community. Community and government. May pagasa. Kung 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 hindi ko korap ang mga pera. Kung kung magagaling mga politiko natin. Ah. Hindi hindi binubul sa taong bayan ni binibigay. Mm -hmm. Malaki ang pag-asa. So, kaya yan, kaya kayang linisin yan. Even ferry operators help clean the river on the days that they are not working. The government has issued also their own programs to help rehabilitate the river, such as the Pasig River Rehabilitation Commission which was established in 1999. Trash boats and barges are seen which are used by the PRRC to help decongest the river of its trash. The revival of the Pasig River ferry transportation is a symbol of the people's willingness to not leave the river in its dilapidated condition. So we go back to the question, were they successful in rehabilitating the river? Not entirely, but with the help of the Filipina citizens, the government, and us youth, the Pasig River would be fully rehabilitated and the Philippines would progress into the bright future it truly deserves.